Yeah, so um, I think I think they're similar but different in my eyes. I think the premonitory phase really provides us with an opportunity to understand migraine without pain being there. So, you know, what is the brain doing? What symptoms are displayed in the absence of pain? Because migraine is much more than a disorder of pain. And I think it's important for us to understand that and differentiate that in terms of other painful conditions, because it's not quite the same. Um, and I think it offers us a unique opportunity, actually, to study um, potential mechanisms of attack prevention and treatment prior to pain which would obviously be very attractive to patients and doctors if we were able to treat during that phase and prevent pain and therefore just limit the morbidity of the attack um, and then I think it also provides us with that opportunity to understand attack generation within the brain so you know how is this starting how does that then lead to pain and nociception and um and those mechanisms, I think we still don't really understand. Um, so we have quite a good understanding of um, migraine pain. I don't think we have a very good understanding of how the premonitory phase leads to pain um, and where aura fits into that. I think the postrome um, for me is really an opportunity to understand mechanisms of attack abortion. So on the back end of that, how does the attack stop either with treatment, with sleep or spontaneously? And what does the brain do in that recovery phase? Because it clearly just doesn't switch off the pain and then everything goes back to normal. There is this phase that can last, you know, up to a couple of days in some patients, um, you know, and can that help us understand, is there a sort of signature of pain abortion and um, the postrome kicking in, or is that dependent on what treatment is used or how the attack stops? Um, and I think that's a really interesting area that we're really kind of going to look into going forward, hopefully. A kind of unifying theme in all of the studies really is trying to appreciate um, the phenotypic, biological, and um, yeah, kind of more the phenotypic and biological heterogeneity of migraine and of it being more than pain. I think obviously treating the pain is important and it's been the target of all of the therapeutic trials thus far. But, you know, we're start starting to see work emerge from the CGRP antibodies that, you know, you can actually treat non-painful aspects of pain. And I think we really need to understand the mechanisms that tie pain and the non-painful aspects together more because the morbidity of migraine is much more than just the pain and often treating the pain doesn't take away those other symptoms so clearly you know I'm not that there must be combined mechanisms at play but perhaps there's also other mechanisms that are driving these that we haven't understood yet and we haven't really tried to target therapeutically and I think that's something we need to really think about um, going forwards.